Hey, my name is George F. Baker III. I'm a muralist and illustrator based in Atlanta, Georgia, by way of Omaha, Nebraska, Detroit, Savannah, and everything in between. And uh, yeah, I'm just happy to be here today. Uh, we are actually right over in the West End right now in front of one of the murals that I worked on called Making a Way in the A. It's a project I did with uh, my homies from Proper and Too Busy to Hate. And yeah, just right here, right now with my Danger fam, actually feeling really good. <laughs> One of my biggest inspirations, honestly, is Atlanta. Like, I've lived here since 2003, uh, AKA when Knuck If You Buck came out and I've just kind of seen the city grow and become something that that I feel like represents me and, and I it. And, you know, one of the things I've always embraced about Atlanta is just the simple fact that it's always figuring out a way to make itself. It's always recreating, always starting from the bottom and establishing a new way forward. And that's something I can get behind. was done we decided to release some shirts to coincide with it and we felt like not only is the mural a good representation of, of this piece but we felt like putting out some t-shirts for the people would be great because we want them to be able to take that same energy with them no matter where they go. One of my main things that I'm trying to do right now is really just I have this whole theory of beating back the beige like I'm trying to paint as many walls as possible, but not, not just, you know, me actually painting walls, but actually helping other people, you know, be muralists. You know, I want to see more people that are actually doing this practice and expressing themselves via public art, because I feel like it's one of the best ways to not only improve a community, but also to express what the community is. So I'm trying to do as many public activations as possible, I'm trying to make as many things as possible. And, you know, eventually I would love to continue to create spaces where people can see themselves and also create themselves. I think for me, my creative inspirations really range, man. Like, like I said before, I just really love people. I love all the things that people create. I love love the way that people express who they are and what they represent. So for me, I'm pulling for I'm pulling from like everything from like Japanese streetwear to old cartoons by uh, Robert Crumb, old albums Jan by Janis Joplin or you know, even just dope murals from like Keith Haring. For me, when it comes to creating anything, I'm I'm bringing in all that, and I'm also bringing in what the community wants, what people want, because I feel like I have to create with intention. Oh, wow. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, Lord. <laughs> My baby. It was just something that I truly felt, I truly believed in. You know, you always have to do your best personally, but making sure that you're uplifting others as you go, because we are all a part of a community. We are all just trying to do our best. And honestly, I'm a firm believer that a rising tide lifts all boats. So as you're doing good, you should help out everybody else and make sure that they're doing good. The greatest piece of advice that I could ever give you is just to be honest with yourself. You know who you are and you know what you want. And at every single point in your life, you have to do your best to be as honest about that with yourself first. You know, yes, you can be honest with about that with, with others, but this artistic journey is a journey of consistently proving to yourself that you're willing to, you're willing to be who you are and who you wanna be. Cause you already know what that is, so you just gotta follow through with it.